Hello YouTubers and Weavers. Um, this is going to look a little bit fishy, I think, because I'm having to uh, remake part of this video, and this is one of the parts I have to remake is the very beginning. Um, I started this a couple days ago, and then I started getting error messages on my video camera. Turns out that the camera I've got is five years old, and it has a rechargeable battery. And what was happening is about 10 seconds into trying to take a video, I'd get an error message flashing across the screen. Anyways, the battery was so old it wasn't keeping its charge decently. And I, and th th I didn't understand what the error message was when I first got it. So, anyways, now what's, I'm having to remake the first parts of this video. So, that's why when you look at the loom, if you look closely, you'll see that there's more weaving on here now than there will be later on in, there's more finished product on the loom than there will be later on in the video, so we're not doing this in sequence. And I know that, you know, professional filmmakers sometimes make things out of sequence and, um, re and edit them together to look that way. So that's what happened to me, and we'll just get on with it, okay? So the purpose of this video is to show you how this table loom that I'm at, my Ashford 8-shaft, 24-inch wide table loom, can be used as a portable loom. And when I say portable, I really mean luggable. You can lug it around. But it's a lot better than, say, my uh, Louette, which, you know, I need to rent the truck and have a couple friends help me all out the door. This one I can do by myself. So what I'm going to do is show you how I fold this loom up to get it ready to travel. Okay, so let me stand up, get around the side of the loom, move the camera, and show you how this is done. And I'm just going to take this through the parts where I had where I had video that failed and then the rest of this will be video that I took um, over this last weekend. Okay, so I'm standing in back of the loom. I've got the camera focused on the loom itself. A couple of things I want to point out to you. We've got these little knobs here that are basically attached to screws. They're like little bolts, wing nuts, whatever you want to call them. There's a, there is a channel cut into the wood itself on this side of the loom. There is a similar channel and wing nut on the other side of the loom. And those are used to guide the loom as I fold it up for travel. So the first thing to do to prepare this loom for travel is to loosen the tension on the warp. Drop a stick out of the way at the same time. Then we loosen the wing nut on each side and I'm going to reach in and kind of pick up the castle just a little bit and let it slide back and down. Now it does that until you can see there's a little jog here so it doesn't come all the way back in one nice easy chunk I should have put all the levers in the same position. Okay, we'll do this again. Come back like that, and now I have to lift all the shafts out of the way and kind of come up over this jog. we go. And we're gonna... Do that again. So you can see this isn't the most straightforward, although it works pretty well. Task. And now I'm pretty well down. Retighten the nuts on each side. 
and at this point I can safely lift the loom off of the stand. It's ready to travel and I'm just going to set it down on the floor for now. Alright, the loom is out of the way. Let's set the shuttle on the chair. Next thing we have to do is the stand. I'm going to loosen this little wing nut here, three-pointed wing nut in effect. Equal one on the other side. And then we have to lift like this. Get my hands out of the way so I don't get caught. Down to there, slide that in like that. There's the stand all folded up nicely, portable. The loom is sitting over, leaning against the wall over there, and I'm ready to travel. Okay, YouTubers, we're, we're at the New London High School. I'm going to set up the loom and to begin weaving. So remember, I had those little wing nuts on the side. I will loosen them. Grab the castle. There it's set up. Just tighten back up. Couldn't be easier. That's how you set up the loom. I've got to tighten my warp back up, put a temple on, and start weaving. Okay, YouTubers, here is um, what I'm weaving on. I'll take the temple off for a moment and show you. And we'll go in nice and close so you can see the pattern. I'm thinking that this is kind of like a Mexican beer, Dos Equis. You can see the two X's going along in there. And obviously the X's exist in the red, but the diamonds show up a little bit better, I think. So, that's what, what it is. It's a kind of a pain to do this on a table loom because there's so many different changes. I'm ending up um, having to keep track by checking off each row as I do it, which really slows me down. But I'm here at this small art fair. We'll just pan around and take a look at the room. And there's a few other people here that are demoing things as well. And there's my loom from the backside. You can hear that little pounding in the background. We're right next to a high school gymnasium. There's basketballs. And then there's a lady next to me who's doing some spinning. I'll take a close-up of the spinning wheel. And there's another lady here. Maybe when she comes back I'll show you how it works. She's got an antique sock knitting machine. It's hand cranked. It's about a 113 year old machine. And she turns out an awful lot of socks like these. So, got some neat stuff. There she goes. This machine's been cranking out socks. 113 years. Yeah, of literally so cranking strong. out. Literally cranking out. That's why I call them cranky socks. I can crank them out on the machine. The only problem is this one doesn't have a counter on it, and I wasn't counting, so. I have to okay. stop and see how many rows. Mm. Okay, well, thank you for showing that. That's uh, the parts from today, the, the reenacted parts, and the bits from this weekend all spliced together to make it look like they happened all in the right sequence. Um, so what I've got on here is just uh, some set of towels that I'm making. 
Anyways, the important part of this was I wanted to show you the takedown part, the fact that the loom is portable, luggable, um, and that I was at uh, an art fair this weekend demonstrating with uh, some other people who do various artsy type things. There was, um, on Sunday, I don't know if I, yeah, I did have a video of that, where I had a lady next to me who was a spinner and then the lady who was making socks. So, and there were a bunch of other people, but um, since I didn't know them as well, I didn't include them in the video. But thanks for watching this. I'll get another video out, uh, hopefully, of this particular project in the not-too-distant future. Um, but in any case, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate you being a subscriber to my channel. And if you're not and like my videos, I would appreciate it if you did subscribe. Bye-bye.